Let's move now to Seattle at Carolina. And two, you know, interesting running backs here with Chris Carson and Christian McCaffrey. Carson uber chalk. He was 72.5% in the WFFC, which was it made sense, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like like I said, I, I mean, I knew it happened, but I wanted to black out. I don't know. It was it was scary, but I mean, Carson came through in a predictably great spot in the end. Twenty four carries, one hundred thirty three, one hundred and thirty three yards, two touchdowns, also two targets. But I mean, you don't play Chris Carson for targets, uh, so I mean, he should have a featured role without Rashad Penny the rest of the way. His price is probably going to get jacked up after such heavy ownership and the production. I don't want to chase him because he lacks receiving upside. He also lacks a receiving floor, and we say it a lot. Even though FanDuel is a half PPR site, receiving work matters for running backs. You can get kind of easier yards, and you can get extra touches. Uh, on average, a target for a running back is twice as valuable uh, in terms of average fantasy points as a carry. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm not going to be chasing Chris Carson, so I'm going to struggle with him probably assuming his price goes way up. We're assuming uh, Chris yeah. Carson will get a pretty major salary bump here given how popular he was this week. And it makes sense given that there was no Rashad Penny. I am higher on him than you because they are at home and facing Arizona. Uh, literally the best situation you could have, I think, for a running back outside of Miami. Um because it's a high pace game, they want to run the football, they should be able to. So I would say an appropriate salary for Chris Carson. Like, if we're going to make Derrick Henry $9,400, I think that Chris Carson in the $8,300 <coughs> range is appropriate. What about you? Yeah, I, I've made those comparisons before, though, too, and you said to ignore them. So I think it's just, it's it's a little funny to me. Okay. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. One just one because... error one error in salary does not mean does not justify another one. You're right. You're correct. I'll give you that. Uh, but yeah, I think. Would you say like eighty? Eighty three. Yeah, I think that's probably where he'll be. I think that's the the right range because he's gonna he's a lock for twenty carries, uh, maybe a target or two. Uh, the touchdown equity should be high. I don't have the total on that game, uh, just yet. But I mean. It's, it's, it's going to be uh, high. It's, it's going to be good. It's situation. 40 because so. it's the Seahawks in a game where they should be ahead. It's actually 51. I lied to you. But, um, yeah, he's he's $8,200. I think that's appropriate. I think that yeah. we know he's going to get the football when he's healthy, when he's on the field, and we know that they want to run the football. We know they should be able to. Like, I agree that there are still limitations to his profile without the, without the passing down work, but that's the exact like, – and there are a very narrow set of circumstances in which guys like that work out. This happens to be one of those games where that does work out. 